Hello everyone. The scene opens with a breaking news report on TV. It was announced that the Masung Arts and Culture Foundation had never bought any cultural assets from the French Museum except for a set of white and blue porcelain. This news sparked public outrage, as many believed Su Jong had spread fake news. The public was furious, accusing Su Jong of deceiving both the government and the public. Meanwhile, Su Jong, who had received this information, couldn't get through the museum in France. Her calls went unanswered. Kelly Jong was also unreachable. Mr. Lois confirmed that Kelly Jong had never arrived in the United States. Jerim, hearing this news, questioned what was happening. Jerim began to suspect Yung Ha as the mastermind behind the whole scene. Su Jong agreed, pointing out that Yung Ha would benefit the most if the Masung Group's first project failed to launch. If the project was halted, the slush fund wouldn't be fully given to the government as the money was intended to purchase Korean cultural assets in France. Despite her suspicions, Jerim didn't completely rule out the possibility that Su Jong had stolen the slush fund. Su Jong acknowledging Jerim's suspicions assured her that she hadn't stolen the money. She then asked for Jerim's help in finding Kelly Jung, who had suddenly disappeared. As the scene concluded, Jerim predicted that the company executive would likely ask Kyung Ha to return to the company and demand Su Jong's dismissal. Su Jong, anticipating this, stated that she would publish Kyung Ha's ledger before that happened. The ledger contained records of Kyung Ha's last fund transaction and Secretary Jung's involvement. Okay everyone, that's the scene this time. Thank you for watching my video.